What's up everybody, my name is Blake and this week we are talking about binding. First off, I want to start by saying do not use ace bandages. Um, I know that from like an ex first hand experience because um, before I knew I was transgender, I just wanted a way to get rid of boobs and how I did that was I had my friend go to the store and get ace bandages and the little brown roll things, yeah, those ace bandages, do not wrap them around your chest and leave it like that. That is just going to cause major problems for you in the future. I injured myself to the point where I need top surgery. Um, binding for me cannot last as long as a um, usual transgender person can bind for. Um, I can bind for probably 30 minutes to an hour. Um, tops before I start not being able to breathe like my ribs start cramping up which like makes it so like when I breathe in like whenever it like expands it cramps up and I can't like it, it th shortens my breath ace bandages um, they don't work for binding because like as well as duct tape um, it, it they don't move with your body when you breathe and I didn't know that as a youngin um, I didn't even know what being transgender was. I just figured, hey, this is a cool way to get rid of these things. And it worked at the time. I didn't know that I was going to be here today with such rib problems and issues like that. Another tip is do not buy a binder too, that is too small for you. What I mean by that is uh, multiple people just buy binders and they think, this is my size, but if I go a size lower, then it'll make my chest look smaller and it'll tighten it up more and it that's just not the way to go. It'll end up doing probably the same thing that ace bandages and duct tape do. It's it's too tight for your body and it it's gonna cause problems in the future. Make sure you have a binder that fits you. I've seen multiple time limits, but the most one that I've seen is that you shouldn't bind for more than 8 to 10 hours. Do not wear two binders at once. Last but not least, give your body a break. Um, don't bind 24-7. That obviously, of course, is going to lead to some issues um, in the future health-wise or even just now. Like you can, hurt, you can really hurt yourself, guys. I know I didn't have much to give you guys today, but um, the internet is a good tool with stuff like this. You can Google binder safety, binder tips, binder blah blah blah, and binder blah blah blah. It's all there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.